Hello, friends. If you want to install OpenWRT on your Redmi Note, you need to download the firmware from OpenWRT website. They also have the installation guide on the website, teaching you how to install OpenWRT on the router. After reading the guideline, maybe you will feel confused. Because it's so complicated, you need to start a PPPoE server, you need to start the PPPoE client on the router, you need to start an exploit script to attack the vulnerability of PPPoE protocol, you need to download BusyBox and share it with the router. <sighs> Although I have done this job many times, I still always fail. If you want to know how I did the job, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have three videos to tell you how complicated it is. But today, I have good news. Installing OpenWRT on Redmi AC2100 is not difficult anymore. Because we can easily get the SSH access of the latest firmware. There is no need to set up PPPoE server anymore. No need to get the telnet access anymore. Just install this firmware. Open a few links, then we can SSH into the router. So first I will upgrade to the latest stock firmware. The version number is 2.0.23. A few moments later. The firmware has been upgraded. Copy the links into a text editor. We just need to open the administration web page, copy the token, then replace the STOK in these links with your token. Open these links in your browser one by one, then the SSH port will open. Okay, the port is open, but I'm not sure what is the password. We also need to use this link to update the root password. Remember to replace the STOK with your token as well. Then we can SSH into the device. The password is admin. This solution is much simpler. Getting into the stock firmware is so easy now. You know what to do after getting into the device, right? Copy the OpenWRT images into the device, then write them into the flash storage. I will use the Python simple HTTP server to share the images because we cannot use USB on this router. It doesn't have a USB port. The Python simple HTTP server is very easy to use. If you start the simple HTTP server from the downloads directory, it will start a web server like this. You can see all the files in your downloads directory from the web page. If you start simple HTTP server on desktop directory, you will see all your desktop files. And certainly, you can download the files. Very convenient. I have started the HTTP server. I will SSH into the router to download the files from the HTTP server. Use the wget command to download the files, alright? wget is a very basic Linux command. 
it would download the images from the links. If you don't know how to use wget, then this video is not suitable for you. You will need to learn some basic Linux knowledge. After the images are downloaded, we use mtd command to write the two images into clone one partition and root fs0 partitions. Then we need to issue these commands to tell the bootloader that we have flashed the OpenWRT firmware in the kernel 1 partition. So next time, the bootloader will start loading data from kernel 1. If you want to know more about how the router starts up, please check this video. OK, now we reboot. We will get an IP address after the router is started. A few moments later. Open the gateway address, and we see it's OpenWRT. Very simple, right? If you don't think so, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will feel it simple after watching all my videos. But anyway, please subscribe to my channel. I need 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.